Hey there, I'm here in downtown Towson. I got a question for you. Do you enjoy pastries and a nice cup of coffee? What about a healthy sandwich or a salad? Well, then you should check out Cunningham's Bakery and Cafe. I'm headed there now to meet with the manager, Sarah. Let's go check it out. And I'm here with the manager, Sarah, and I can already tell by all the people she works with, they truly do love you and adore you. So, uh, Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about Cunningham, the food, the drinks, and the atmosphere here? Yeah, so uh, Cunningham's, we do artisan bread, artisan pastries. We um, have the best bread, arguably, probably in the state or around, I would say. Um, but we have a wholesale department, and they have a bunch of... Um, probably 40 some accounts downtown and um, we just do bread really well, we do pastry really well, um, but we do breakfast all day, which is definitely the most popular, mm -hmm. uh, especially in a college town and on the weekends. And um, the culture here is just really relaxing. It's a good vibe. We are um, busier these days, which is great, but um, it's always just a good place to come connect with people and um, get some good coffee and food. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so you've been here for three years now? Three years in March, yep. And how'd you end up working here? I ended up working here because I'd spent a lot of time in full service, late nights, and was just kind of looking for a change, a quality of life change, and I love the hours, and to be honest with you, it was just simply the hours. Yeah, I, I understand that. <laughs> Don't want to work those late nights anymore. So... I guess what is something, you know, from working here, and you've worked through COVID too, what has uh, really surprised you? I think the most surprising has been um, just the loyalty of our, our clients and our guests uh, that come in. I would say they're, I mean, they're just surprisingly generous and kind. Um, and then also to the staff, like their relationships with the staff and um, yeah. So it seems like this definitely differentiates you as far as being a local coffee shop and everything. For sure. Your clients definitely remember the staff and they have that relationship. And you're, you even told me a story where the staff actually, when the kids come in, they'll come around and actually play yeah. with them and everything. The, so. ki the kids, um, especially on the weekends when people are able to bring their kids in, our staff love the kids, our staff love pets. Um, I don't know if I showed you over here. Oh, we, no, yeah. Over here we have a dog wall, um, and pets are our favorite, dogs are our favorite. We also have a dog Instagram uh, that's linked to our personal Instagram for the cafe. But, um, yeah, I mean, the staff really loves connecting with people, getting to know people. We kind of try to keep that culture here pretty pretty fresh. Um, it definitely separates from the, the Starbucks or um, the corporate coffee shops in town where people are able to kind of sit down and, and enjoy a conversation with the baristas here, too. So kid friendly and pet friendly, mm -hmm. definitely. Especially dog friendly. <laughs> Especially dogs, so that definitely gives it the neighborhood feel. Yeah. So I guess uh, since we are in Towson and you're in the local shop, uh, what do you think about the Towson area and everything about that? I love Towson. I grew up in Cecil County where there's very little to do and I would always kind of go to the Christian area to do things, but Towson is just changing a lot. Um, I do love the local scene, um, the local restaurants that are down mm -hmm. here, um, the bars, and um, just like the family of businesses around. I think it's becoming its own little hub for sure. Not even a little. I'm going to say it's a, it's there's some uh, major developments going yeah. on that have been completed now, but yeah. it's really cool. It's becoming its own little special niche place. Which I think is another good reason that people should continue to shop local because, as you said, there's that more community feel and everything For when sure. people come in here those relationships are developed so and you know people love coming in and having you know that conversation and you know it is a great way to start off your day um so are there any places in towson that you like to go to hmm. 
I love going everywhere in Towson. To be honest with you, I um, was doing a long commute for a long time, still from Cecil County. I just moved to the Harford County area, so a lot of my time is spent, like, when I leave work, I'm not rushing to get home. Um, so I'm still trying a lot of new things, but um, after COVID, there was quite a few places that closed, especially, like, the smaller businesses over here. So I'm excited to see what comes. Okay. It's, it's going to be pretty exciting to see what fills up. All right. Well, Sarah, I know as a manager, you wear many hats. Uh, I mean, you've got payroll P&Ls, you've got all the orders, you got the employees. So I uh, really appreciate you taking the time. And for everyone out there, um, please stop by Cunningham's Cafe and Bakery. Uh, when are you guys open? We are open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, and bring your kids and bring the dogs. Kids and the dogs and we are doing a christmas pop-up um on december 4th for the christmas tree lighting which is directly across the street from us so oh yeah that's right we're right next to olympic park and uh yeah, yeah. stop on by that sounds good so everybody take care